Good day, we'll discuss type 1 and type 2 errors in hypothesis testing. So, a type 1 error states that the null hypothesis is false when in fact it is true. So, meaning here, in the type 1 error, we reject the true null hypothesis. Okay? So, we reject the true null hypothesis when we say a type 1 error because no, when in fact it is true but we say that the null hypothesis is false okay it is true the null hypothesis is true but then our decision in the hypothesis testing is false so therefore we committed a type 1 error so in other words we just rejected the true null hypothesis the type 2 error on the other hand is when the null hypothesis is not rejected meaning you accepted the null hypothesis but in fact it is false okay so it's an error why will why will you accept a false null hypothesis so that's a type 2 error the type 1 error is why will you reject a true null hypothesis so it's again an error so the type 1 error we reject the null hypothesis or the true null hypothesis but the type 2 error is we accept the false null hypothesis so both of these are errors example you test whether a new drug intervention can alleviate symptoms of an autoimmune disease so our null hypothesis here is that the new drug has no effect on the symptoms of the disease. So, HO or the null hypothesis. So, with this, we have uh, type 1 and type 2 errors in the on the next slide. So, uh, if, what will you conclude if you are... Um, accused of being co of committed a type 1 error or a type 2 error regarding this one okay so when we say a type 1 error we will assume that this is true okay because you are already accused of committing a type 1 error so since na accused now then of course you already we already assume that this is a true null hypothesis Okay, this is true but then since in the type 1 error we will reject or the true null hypothesis is rejected so meaning the conclusion is not this one because we will reject this so if we will reject this meaning it has now an effect so in other words we have this you may conclude that the drug intervention now improved symptoms when in reality it actually didn't okay take note we reject the truth so we reject this one we reject the idea that it has no effect so since we reject this so therefore our conclusion is it has an effect so it improves the symptoms when it actually didn't now so type 2 in the type 2 error we accept the true no we accept the ah uh, we accept the false null hypothesis so meaning in the type 2 error this is false already okay this statement is already false but then we accepted it okay that is why it's an error because it's false and then we accepted it so therefore since we accepted it this will be our conclusion so we conclude that the drug or we had concluded that the drug intervention didn't improve so that is why it has no effect didn't improve symptoms when it actually did okay so this is a type 2 error okay meaning we accept the false HO. So, meaning this is already false, but then we accepted it. That is why the effects are the same. Didn't improve, has no effect. 
Next, number two example. So, let's have this null hypothesis. A man is not guilty of a crime. So, this is the null hypothesis. Now, in the type 1 error, we reject, diba? We reject HO or we reject the true null hypothesis. So, assuming that this is the true null hypothesis. So, this is now a true null hypothesis. And we will reject it. We will reject this claim. So, therefore, since we reject it, the man is now guilty of the crime. Okay, since we reject this. So, he is condemned to crime, though he is not guilty or committed the crime. Okay, that is why it's an error. Okay, now, in the type 2 error, this is now a false statement or a claim, false claim, right? So, we accept a false null hypothesis in the type 2 error, accepting the false null hypothesis. So, in, since we accept the false null hypothesis, so this is now our conclusion, So we, since we accept this. That is why he is condemned not guilty. So, he is condemned not guilty when the court actually does commit the crime by letting the guilty one go free okay so a man is not guilty but when in fact he is guilty okay accepting the false null hypothesis so we accept this a man is not guilty when in fact it is false so meaning the man did really do the crime Three, a group of culinary arts students is comparing two methods for preparing asparagus, traditional steaming and a new frying method. They want to know if patrons of their school restaurant prefer their new frying method over the traditional steaming method. So what is our null hypothesis? The new frying method is not superior is not pref or is not preferred over the traditional steaming method method okay now let's go back to type 1 when we say type 1 it means we reject the true null hypothesis so if we commit a type 1 error so this is already a true null hypothesis but we will reject it or we had reject it because we already committed a type 1 error so this is true but we rejected it. So if we reject this, meaning our statement will be the opposite. So the new frying method is preferred or more preferred or more superior or superior over the traditional steaming method. So this is the type 1 error now. Okay, if they reject that true null hypothesis, so this is true, then we conclude that the new frying method is preferred since we rejected this now if we rejected this then our statement will be it is preferred or more superior when in reality it is not okay again type 1 error rejecting the true null hypothesis now how about in the type 2 error so type 2 error this will become a false claim okay false so, HO is false. But then, we accepted it. Okay? That's why we committed a type 2 error. So, since we accepted a false statement, so our conclusion is this, not superior. So, meaning, their new method is not superior. Okay? That is why we have this. When in reality, it is. Okay? So, when in reality, it is. So, that is the error. We accepted a false so this is false we accepted a false null hypothesis okay so thank you for listening